Hi guys, it's Tatiana Jade. Welcome back. I'm going to be doing a red makeup look for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the makeup look. So I'm going to be using the Porefessional Primer from Benefit Cosmetics, and just rub that all in. And then I'm using the Fabu Brow um, Pencil by Jordana in the color Dark Brown. So I'm going to fill in my brows and just make sure they look half decent. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> there is no way I would ever leave it like that. And I'm just going over it with some brow gel so I can shape it as best as I can. And I think it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to clean it up with some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Medium. So I'm just going to try to shape it and clean it up because it's looking jacked up and we don't want that. No, no, we don't. So I'm going to blend it in with a beauty sponge and it's not working so I'm going to use a concealer brush instead and blend in all the concealer um, so that it kind of blends in with my skin and it's easy to cover up with the foundation that I'm going to use. Next is my eyelids, so I'm going to put the Shape Tape Concealer on my eyelids and blend that out with a beauty sponge um, so that the colors actually show up on my skin tone. And of course I have my handy dandy tape there so that I can get a really clean and sharp line without having to do a whole bunch of cleanup. So next I'm going to take the Mattifying Powder by Catrice Cosmetics and put that on my eyelids and the rest of my face so that there's no grease. And I'm going to use the Queen palette for my eyes. And I'm going to use the color Kingdom as my transition shade because I am going for a red makeup look or as red as I can possibly get with the colors that I have. Next is the Modern Renaissance palette, so I'm going to be using the color Red Ochre in the outer edges of my crease to give that red pop because I wasn't really getting that from the color Kingdom. It was a bit too sheer, so I'm going to use uh, the Modern Renaissance palette to give me that pop that I'm looking for. Next I'm going to attempt a cut crease, we'll see how it goes, and uh, I'm going to use the Shape Tape Concealer to try to etch this out, but I really don't know how these girls be getting it to look so easy. It's not. It's very hard. Okay, so I'm going to put the Color Kingdom on top of my lid so that the other metallic colors that I put on top of it actually show up and don't blend in and are not too sheer. So I'm taking the color Your Highness, which is a really nice coppery red metallic color, and I'm putting that all over my lid. So since we got a lot of red going on, I'm going to deepen up the crease with the color Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette and give it a little bit more depth and just make it look a little bit better. Eyeliner, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Eyeliner in the color Cause I'm Black and I wasn't going to do a wing, I'm just going to line my lashes or my lash line but I can't resist. I love wings too much. So I'm going to use the Lily Lashes Mascara in the color black and just uh, kind of blend it in with the, the lashes that I'm going to put on. So these lashes are from iLore London and they're from the Lux Cashmere Collection. And I think they're really pretty. They're subtle. They're not too wild and out there, but they do give it a nice pop to the eye. So I like it. Oh yeah. So next I'm taking the color Monarch from the Queen palette again, and I'm putting that right on top of the other color um, that I put down, and I think it looks really good. It's a nice little pop of brightness. 
So I know BB cream technically isn't foundation, but this really does act like one. So it's the Pure Lease uh, BB cream in the color Tan Deep. So I am going to rub that in all over my skin and it really does um, feel like foundation. It's, But it's not as heavy. It still feels like a cream, but gives you nice coverage. So I really, really like it. Good God, man, I can't with all the grease and the shine. I have to, to blot it out with a beauty sponge. It's just too much. My, oh, I hate my skin combination. I wish it would pick one, um, but I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape concealer in the color medium and do some highlighting and contouring because uh, my skin does need some brightness. And I really do like how the Shape Tape concealer is mattifying it's it doesn't make my skin feel extra greasy and it really blends in well with the bb cream that i'm using so and oh my god i almost took my dagger and eyelashes off oh god help me Woo all right let's keep going So I'm going to take that same mattifying translucent powder from Catrice Cosmetics and put that all over where I did the highlighting from the uh, Tarte Shape Tape concealer and just make sure there is no grease, there's no shine. And then I'm taking this bronzer from NYX Cosmetics and it's in the color Deep and I'm just going to deepen um, my contouring lines on my cheeks and give myself a nose. So I'm using the I Heart Revolution Peach and Glow Blush on my cheeks. And then I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Mini Highlighter in the color Hustla Baby. And oh my god, I love it. Do you guys see that? It's like wet, dripping gold. Oh yes, just give it to me. Oh my god, yeah. I do this every video, but oh, ooh, yes, look at it. Ooh, oh, it's so nice. Oh my god, it's oh, I can't, I can't. It's blinding. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta put it everywhere. I'm putting it right in the corners of my eyes. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna give it that pop. And then I'm gonna take that mascara from Lily Lashes and put that on my bottom lashes and try not to make them all clump together. And then I'm taking the lip liner from NYX Cosmetics in the color Cold Brew. I'm giving myself a very light nude lip because we already have a whole lot of color and red and pinks and corals and metallics and yeah, it's a lot. So I need a nice nude lip to bring it all together. And I'm using the color Butter from NYX Cosmetics again on my lips. And Setting Spray is also from NYX Cosmetics. If you can't tell, I like NYX Cosmetics. And here is the final look, you guys. Oh yeah, I love it. Now I know it's more coral or salmon uh, than red, but it does coordinate. Um, I feel like having bright fire engine red on your eye would just be a whole lot. And uh, I didn't have that color. So this was the closest I could get to red and, and looking like my sweater that I have on. As you can see, it's a nice Harley Quinn sweater. So Harley Quinn is my favorite. Um, so yeah, here's the final look. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with another makeup look for ya. All right, bye, love ya, bye.